Hello, my name is Michelle Forrest and I'm an Apple Professional Learning Specialist. In this activity, we are going to be learning how to create immersive animations using Keynote and also Reality Composer. It can be difficult for students to understand how certain things work from a simple image or diagram, especially when things move or have changing phases. Arrows alone are not enough for understanding. Students might be used to reading a lot of text-based information with flat 2D images and then regurgitating the information into worksheets to show their understanding. Using animation, students can gain a better understanding of how things operate. We are going to start by creating an animation in Keynote. We are going to build our Keynote animation using shapes and emojis and simple motion paths. We are also going to use build in and build out animations, which we would normally use for text and images to enter and exit a slide for some magic tricks, as well as layering up audio. For this activity, you will need Keynote, Photos, Safari, Siri shortcuts and files. All right, all you buzzy bees, it's time to get animating in Keynote and create our bee pollinator animation. Firstly, open Keynote and the Bee Pollinators deck you can download at the bottom of the page. In this deck, you will find a cover page, an asset page to build your own scene, pre-built scenes you can use to animate, and animations already finished in case you need some help. Alright, let's get started. We'll try to build some of the assets like the bee, the flower, the flower stems and the leaves. Tap plus in the bottom left corner and choose a blank slide. Tap plus in the top right and choose shapes. Find a text box, double tap in the text box to bring up your keyboard and select your emoji keyboard. In the search field, type in B and find a B emoji. Double tap to select your B, tap on paintbrush, text and increase the size to about 300 to make a big B. Tap on your B and choose copy. Tap on your screen and choose paste to make a second B. Tap on plus shapes and choose the star. Use the blue handler dots to resize. We can use the outer green dot to remove or add points to the star and the inner green dot to expand the width of the star. The star will be our spiky pollen. Tap on paintbrush, style, tap fill, color and choose pink. Toggle on a border. Increase the width, change the line stroke to an ink outline and make this a dark pink colour. Tap on Arrange and toggle on Constrained Proportions to maintain the shape. Resize the pollen to be smaller. Our border now looks too thick. Tap Paintbrush and reduce the border width. Tap the pollen, copy and paste. Tap Paintbrush, Arrange and use the Move to Back Front slider so there is a piece of pollen in front of and behind the bee. Let's group our shapes. Tap and hold on the screen until you see a blue flash. Drag your finger over the shapes you want to group and select Group. The bee and pollen are one group. Tap on Plus, Shapes. Tap on the magnifying glass and type Straw into the search. Make the straw a bit larger. Tap on Paintbrush, Style, Fill, Colour and choose a dark green colour. You can swipe across left on the colour palette and change the hue and the tint to customise your shade of green. Tap on Arrange, toggle off Constrained Proportions. Tap on Rotate and rotate the straw upside down and stretch the straw slightly. Tap on the straw and tap Copy and Paste. Change the colour to a different shade of green and repeat to create a third straw. Tap on plus, shapes and type in leaf. Find a leaf shape. Tap on paintbrush, style, fill and gradient. Choose a dark green and a light green colour. You may wish to change the angle of the gradient or flip the colours. Tap on arrange and toggle off constrained proportions and rotate your leaf. Resize and flatten the leaf shape. Copy and paste the leaf. Tap on Paintbrush, Style, Fill, Gradient and flip the colours so each leaf has a different gradient pattern. Let's make our flower. Tap on Plus, Shapes and search for flower. Resize the flower with the blue handler dots. 
Tap on Paintbrush, Style, Colour, Fill and choose a light grey. Toggle on Shadow to lift the flower off the page. Pinch to zoom in so we can add some detail. Tap on Plus, Shapes and add a circle. Change the circle to a yellow colour. Move the circle over the flower and resize. Copy and paste the circle twice and move into position over the flower. Tap on Plus, Shapes and search for Tool. Select the pliers. We are going to use only one part of the pliers. Tap on Paintbrush, Arrange and at the bottom select Break Apart. Delete the two parts of the tool, leaving only the handle. Tap on the remaining part of the plier. Toggle off Constrain Proportions. Try to resize and skew the shape with a thinner width and longer height. Tap on Paintbrush, Style, Fill, Colour and choose a light orange colour. Toggle on a border, change the width, change the stroke to an ink outline and match the border colour to the shape fill. Resize and skew the shape. Tap on the yellow circle and copy and paste this. Change the fill colour to light pink and add a dark pink border, similar to our star. Squeeze the circle in to make an oval shape. Tap and hold on the screen until you see a blue flash. Drag your finger over both parts of the shape and tap Group. Move your new shape over the flower. Tap on Paintbrush, Arrange and slightly rotate your shape. Copy and paste the shape, resize and rotate. Repeat the steps until you have four shapes. Copy and paste two single shapes. Tap and hold on the screen until you see a blue flash. Drag your finger over the four shapes you have made and tap Group. Copy and paste the group. On Arrange, tap Flip horizontally. Drag the group to the other side of the flower. Reposition and rotate. Move the two single shapes to the center of the flower. Use Arrange, move to back front and move these shapes to the back of the flower. We need to combine all our shapes together. Tap and hold on the screen until you see a blue flash. Drag your finger over the screen selecting all parts of the flower and tap Group. You now have a detailed flower. Tap Plus in the bottom left and add a blank slide. Tap on Plus, Shapes and find a square. Drag your square to the top corner. Use the blue handler dots to resize the square so it fits the size of the slide. Tap Paintbrush, Style, Fill, Gradient. Choose a dark green and a light green. Swipe across left on the colour palette to mix your own shades of green. Tap on your square, Paintbrush, Arrange and tap on Lock so the background will not move around. Let's construct our scene. Select both leaves and copy and paste them on the gradient background. Rotate one leaf so it is pointing downward and the other leaf so it is horizontal. Copy and paste the three straws onto the gradient background. These will be our flower stems. Rotate, skew and reposition the straws to create three sprayed out flower stems. Try to create some overlap. Copy and paste one flower at a time. Create a large centre flower. Tap on Paintbrush, Arrange and flip vertically so the flower is pointing downward. You may need to resize your straw. Copy and paste a second flower and have it sit on top of the first flower. Rotate this flower upward and resize to make slightly smaller. Paste a third flower and have it layered under the first flower. Resize and reposition. Add in some more leaves and make them smaller. Layer them up and around the flower stems for more depth. Copy and paste the bees. Use the Arrange tab to move the bees behind one of the flowers so your animation takes on more depth. Move the bee with the pollen onto the middle flower. Pinch to zoom out on the screen and move the other bee off the slide. Tap on the bee and tap Animate. Tap 
add action, and create path. Pinch to zoom out on your screen. Tap and hold on your bee and move it across the screen until it lines up to the bee with the pollen. Tap done, tap create path, and tap play to watch your bee fly across the screen. Tap on the bee with the pollen, tap on animate, tap on build in and choose appear. This way, the bee will be invisible until the other bee reaches it. Tap on X, tap on add action and create path. Pinch to zoom out and fly your bee off the slide. Tap done. Tap on one of the bees and choose animate. Tap on the three lines in the top right or build order. There are three animations. We need to add another to our first bee. Tap on build out and choose disappear. We want our first bee to fly across to an empty flower. Disappear, have the pollen bee appear at exactly the same time and fly away. Drag disappear above the last motion path. You should have motion path, appear, disappear and motion path. Tap on the first path and choose after transition from the bottom of the build order panel. Set disappear as after build one, appear with build two and the last motion path after build three. Tap preview to see your bee fly and collect pollen. Tap done to close build order. Tap play to test in full screen mode. Tap on your slide on the left panel and choose duplicate. Delete the bees. Tap on the green background square and unlock. Tap and hold on the screen until you see a blue flash. Drag over the entire slide and tap group. Tap on paintbrush, arrange and flip vertically and horizontally. Reposition the flowers into the bottom right corner. Double tap to select into the group and tap on the square. Resize the square to fit the slide. Copy and paste the two bees. We need to reverse the animation for this slide. Flip each bee by tapping on paintbrush, arrange and flip horizontally. Move each bee to the center flower. Copy and paste the bee with the pollen. Move one copy off the slide on the left hand side. Double tap the bee on the flower to select into the group. Tap on the bee and delete, so just the pollen remains. Use move to back front, so the bee is sitting in front of the pollen. Tap on the bee off the slide and tap animate. Choose add action, create path, and move the bee so it lines up with the pollen on the flower. Tap on the screen to apply the behavior. Add on a build out disappear, so the bee will disappear after it moves. Tap on the bee without the pollen and tap Animate. Choose Build In, Appear. Tap Add Action, Create Path and fly the bee off the slide. If you have a trackpad connected to your iPad, you can double tap into the path and change or move the sharp or smooth points. Tap on the pollen and choose Build In, Appear. Tap on Build Order so we can time everything together. Drag the pollen appear up in the order so it is after the bee disappears. Tap on the first motion path and choose after transition. Bee disappear after build one, pollen appear with build two, bee appear with build two, and the last bee motion path after build four. Tap preview to test your animation. Tap done. We now need to add some bee sounds. I have captured a few bee and ambient sounds on my iPhone while I'm out on my morning walks, which will be perfect to use. I want to use just the audio though. In iMovie on the iPad, even if I detach the audio from a video, I cannot export just the audio track. So I'm gonna use a special Siri shortcut. Go to Safari and download the IDB video to audio Siri shortcut. Tap get shortcut, open and add shortcut. It will be added into your Siri shortcuts. Now back in photos, tap on share. Scroll to the bottom of the share sheet and tap on the IDB video shortcut. It will prepare the audio and ask you to save the sound into files. 
find your new audio file in your files B app. Double sounds. tap and rename. Back in Keynote, tap on plus, media, insert from files and find your B sound. Tap to listen. Tap on the sound, tap copy and paste it onto the second slide. We need to explain what is happening in the animation. Tap on plus, media, record audio. Drag up from the bottom of the screen to reveal the dock and tap and hold on pages dragging upward to create a slide over. Tap on record at the bottom and read out the first part of your script. When a bee collects nectar from flowers, some of the sticky pollen grains from the stamen will attach to the hairs on the bee's legs. Tap preview to listen. If you are unhappy, tap undo in the top left and re-record. Move the slide over and tap insert in the top right to add your audio. Tap on a bee and choose animate. Open up the build order panel. Drag the bee sounds to the top and the voice recording second. Make sure your B sounds are set to after transition and the audio recording with build one. Your first path also needs to be retimed. Tap on with build one. Delay the start of this by more than a second and increase the duration of the path. Tap on the second path and increase the duration of this path. Tap play to test. When a bee collects nectar from flowers, some of the sticky pollen grains from the stamen will attach to the hairs on the bee's legs. Adjust the timings of the paths if needed. Pull up the dock, tap and hold and drag pages up as a slide over. Tap on record and read out the second part of the script. As the bee flies to the next flower, some of the... Tap preview and if happy, tap insert in the top right corner or re-record if needed. Tap a B and animate. Tap build order. Drag the B sounds to the top and the audio recording second. Make the B sounds start after transition and the audio recording with build one. Tap on the first B path and time it with build one and delay for 1.5 seconds. Increase the duration of the path. On the last B motion path, increase the duration of the path. Tap done and tap play to test. As the bee flies to the next flower, some of the pollen will be transferred from the bee to the stigma, thus pollinating the flower. Adjust the timings if needed. Tap on your first bee scene slide and transition. Add a transition and find iris. Tap the screen to apply. Tap on the transition and change the start to automatic. Tap play to test your animation. Bees legs. Let's export our work. Tap on the three dots in the top right hand corner and export. Choose movie. Tap on slide range and select only the slides your scene is on. In this case, four to five. Tap on movie options and tap export. Wait for your movie to be exported and tap save video. Swipe up to return to the home screen and open photos. Locate your exported Keynote movie. Tap unmute and play to watch your animation. When a bee collects nectar from flowers, some of the sticky pollen grains from the stamen will attach to the hairs on the bee's legs. As the bee flies to the next flower, some of the pollen will be transferred from the bee to the stigma, thus pollinating the flower.